Wait, so how many people have worn this jacket? <laughs> and we don't get a fresh jacket each time? <gasps> Hello, and welcome to The Scoop. We've been on the hunt for some great stories, and here's what we've scooped up. First, something a bit flippant with the story of Flippy the Burger Flipping Robot from Miso Robotics. Flippy the Robot was designed to give us a glimpse of the future of fast food, allegedly flipping between 150 and 300 burgers per hour. At first, it looked pretty flippin' cool, but unfortunately, it turned out to be a flippin' flop, as Flippy was taken offline after just one day working at a fast food restaurant in California. It seems Flippy failed to flip fast enough. Ah, humans won, robots sub... Ooh, actually, I've lost count. Next up, a Nintendo Switch patent has been uncovered for what looks like a drum peripheral. The design appears quite similar to the GameCube's Donkey Konga Bongos and suggests that Nintendo might be thinking about bringing those jungle rhythms to the Switch. Patents should always be taken with a grain of salt, of course, as many of them never see the light of day. But hey, if the conga drums do become a thing, along with the Nintendo Labo Mini Piano, you could almost start a band. Oh, oh, and maybe you could team up with the Guitar Heroes and the Sing Stars too. Yeah, this could happen. Line up the tour. <laughs> in other news, the developers of A Hat in Time have launched a community mod contest for anyone with an interest in mapping or modding. The Purple Time Rift Mapping Contest runs until April 27 and invites keen modders to try their hand at creating a Purple Time Rift map. Entrants will then need to upload it to the net, where they'll be voted on by the community, with the top three being chosen by the developers themselves. The winning maps may even make it into the game for everyone to play. Good luck, modders. I tip my hat to you. Moving on to some more radness now, a PhD candidate at Columbia University has developed a way for people who are blind to play real 3D racing games. The Racing Auditory Display, or RAD interface, uses audio notifications to help players understand the speed and trajectory of a car on a racetrack, as well as alert players to upcoming bends in the track. The RAD huh, has so far been praised for its more authentic gameplay for the visually impaired, compared with some similar things on the market, which either overloads players with information or oversimplifies the experience. I would also like to praise it for its fine choice of name. Let's hope they discover some other applications for the display to help make games more accessible. Now that would be pretty rad. Now it's time for the extra scoop. This week, it's a delicious one. Stardew Valley recipes come to life. Some clever bloggers out there have taken to creating food from the popular game IRL. Forget hot cross buns, how about sinking your teeth into some strange buns? Or a star drop cookie? Or maybe quenching your thirst with some cranberry candy? I don't think I'd want to make algae soup with real algae, though. Lol. And where would I find void mayonnaise in real life? That wouldn't be mayonnaise-y. And on that note, we're out of time. If you found something that you think would make a nice extra scoop, drop us a line here. <laughs> mayonnaise -y. That was a good one. Are we still rolling? <laughs>